live from Studio A in the Rose City, it's Shark Bite Improv. And now, here's your host, Nathaniel Patterson. Thank you all very, very much. You at home and our fantastic studio audience here at Studio A in the Rose City. My name is Nathaniel Patterson, and this is Shark Bite Improv. We have five fabulous players for you tonight. We have Ryan. We also have Ryan. We have Jake, Taylor, and Josh. Only the finest. Only the finest here in Portland for, for free. So, our next game is a game called Lines from the Pocket. And it's for three players. All right. Jake, Ryan, and Ryan. And now, the way Lines from the Pocket works, before the show started, we had our fabulous studio audience write down a series of lines. And each one of these gentlemen has three of them. And they're going to do a scene, and every once in a while, they'll pull one of those lines out. So can I get a suggestion for where would you find three grown men? Tattoo parlor. <laughs> your, <suggestion's laughs> your suggestion is tattoo parlor. All right. I got a lizard, and I got, uh, I think it's called Tribell. Okay, so I'm really nervous about this. I've never gotten one of these things before. They make me very uncomfortable. Sure. I have a fear of needles, so what I'm going to need you to do is knock me out before this starts. <laughs> like... With a, with, with a hammer, or you want Novocaine? I mean, what are you after here? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, whatever you've got. I got a stool. I mean, is that going to work? Like, it's a, <laughs> across the head. It's a heavy. Across the head. But before you hit me with the stool, I need you to make sure that my wife knows Surf Bort. <laughs> that she can ride me <laughs> like a Surf Bort. <laughs> Tim, you've been coming in here once a week for three years. Keep telling me you want a tattoo. You never have the courage to do it. I'm trying. I'm, my, my wife wants me to be tough for her. All right, look, I'm going to tell you one thing that my father told me. When you interact with women, you've got to remember just this one simple phrase. <laughs> I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to do. Tink. Tim, there you are. I've been searching all over for you. This is the last place I'd ever expect to find you. Bernice, it's for you, baby. Huh. It's for you. A disgusting tattoo parlor? When you left, I remember the words that you said to me. You said, you turkey. <laughs> <laughs> that's our special word. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a great time. We're getting a little snorty. <laughs> you know, I just want you to know that if anything bad happens, if we need a safe word, you turkey will always come out. And I want you to know that I was going to do something that I thought would be safe. If I got scared, I could say you turkey. Look, well, I, what I, I'm sorry to break this up, but it's, it's now or never. I close in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, I believe in you. Get the tattoo. Okay. Are you ready with the stool? I'm about ready with the stool. All now, right. Now, before, before we do this, I want to I wanna let you know that I can also tattoo some very wise words. Words that I know and have tattooed on many a person. It's, this is spicier than I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I'm always saying. I go to the Taco Bell. He says it all the time. <laughs> I, go, I go to Captain Quesadilla. <laughs> I go to... He spends a significant portion of his paycheck at those types of restaurants. I go, I go to, I'd rather be playing Riffle Ball. Oh, that's a great restaurant. They're so good. Have you had their nachos? Oh, they're spicy. Step like this, which would be perfect for me to get the tattoo that says, one more time for me. <laughs> <laughs> Gary. It's not I want to show you what love is. <laughs> Honey, it has something to do with spicy. I think you know it. I, I, I work off intuition. It'll look right. Honey, why don't we use that old phrase that your mother Jesus. used to say to me so many times before we got oh, married? I miss mom so much. Please. Please, Bernice. I can never forget those words. She used to say all the time, I wish I could help you, but I can't find my protractor. <laughs> My mother is a great, great mathematician. Fifth grade math teacher, yeah. Can, 
Candace Formaldehyde. <laughs> she was a great woman. <laughs> you could get a tattoo of a protractor in oh, her honor. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Well, okay. do you want one too? We can make this a whole husband wife thing. Matching protractors. Uh, Tim, you, Boy, do you think we should? You could get half the protractor <laughs> on your hip. I'll give you, you I'll give you a price off. And you know what I always say to all my best customers? It's my favorite thing to say to them. It seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> <laughs> it says that over your sign. All over the sign. That's yeah. right. You come in here with $100. Doesn't matter whether you're drunk or not. It seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> All right, Bernice. Let's do it. Let's I'm going to go in for the stool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. You ready? OK, on three. All right. You want to count? Uh, uh, sure. How about you do them at the same time? So same One, time. two, three. Wait, wait, wait. And sing! <laughs> that was spicier than I thought it would be. <laughs>